stroke. Singleton's mother is applying for a temporary conservatorship. NBC4's Ted Chen is live for us at Cedar sinai Medical Center with more on this. Ted. Carol and John Singleton initially checked himself into Cedar sinai Medical Center for weakness in his legs. He then suffered that stroke, and his family confirmed today that he is in a coma, and they are now asking for a court's help. It's like food to get shot all the time. At 24, with the film Boys in the Hood, John Singleton became the youngest person and the first African American to be nominated for a Best Directing Oscar. Film critic Tim Cogshell says Boys in the Hood made a lasting impact. John did for West Coast filmmakers what Spike had did for East Coast filmmakers some five years earlier. Make a film about his community, South Central Los Angeles. His family now confirming the 51-year-old Singleton suffered a major stroke last week and is now in a coma. In an application to California Superior Court today, Singleton's mother applied for temporary conservatorship. The application says her son, before the stroke, was engaged in, quote, several business projects and was prepared to sign a, quote, lucrative settlement agreement. She asked that she be appointed to manage his business affairs to prevent, quote, substantial financial loss. <laughs> Singleton also wrote, produced, and directed the film Shaft, and he's now co-creator of the series Snowfall. Cogshell says Singleton deserves some credit for the breakthrough in black filmmaking in the past couple of years. He is a grandfather figure, believe it or not, or a father figure, believe it or not, ushering in new talent. Neither Cedar sinai Medical Center nor representatives for Singleton have commented on his condition today, and his family has asked for privacy. Reporting live from West L.A., Ted Chen, NBC4 News. Chuck Carroll, back to you. Thank you, Ted. Now new at 6.